Hello and welcome to Nerdy Rodent Space Time Tutorial. Today I will be delving into the world of the basic directions in PYTTI. If you have ever wondered how, how is it that you can move these things both left and right and up and down and zoom in and out, how is this possible? Well, today you will learn all. I'll be looking at all the directions in minute and intricate detail, so let us... With no further ado, start in the positive X direction. Now, there is one thing to be noted here, as you can possibly see from the text on the screen. There are two different camera configurations you need to be aware of. One is the locked configuration, and the other is the unlocked configuration. So, let us start first with the positive X and the locked camera. As you can see there, translate X is set to 15, that's positive 15. So let's take a quick look and see how that lovely rotation looks. Hmm, rather curious. Did you expect it to do that? Perhaps you were expecting something more similar to uh, this next one with the unlocked camera. Yes, there you go, see it is quite obviously scrolling rather than rotating along the X direction. Now, what happens if we take that positive X direction and again with the unlocked camera and we'll change it to a negative? There, see, so here we have translate X as negative 15. Can you guess what is going to happen? Uh, let's take a look and see if you were right. Yes. Indeed, it does. It scrolls the other way. So I think you've got a hang of maybe the positive and negative directions. Yes, so positive goes one way, negative will go in the opposite direction. So we've had a look at X, we've delved into X, we can go left, we can go right, and we can spin roundy roundy. But what happens if we do Y? Let's have a look at Y, shall we? Positive Y direction with a locked camera. It looks something like this. Yes, interesting, isn't it? It's a, a sort of tilty, tilty motion. Hmm. I imagine that you can probably guess what would happen if we now unlock the camera. Uh, let's see if you were correct again. Did you guess what was going to happen? Yes. Now, remember, of course, you don't have to use these numbers. You might be thinking, that's scrolling up too fast for me. I don't want it that fast. I want it to go slower. If you want it to go slower, simply reduce the value there. So rather than 15, you could put 5 or 1 or 2. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's go into that Z direction, shall we? Negative Z 3D. There it is. Translate Z 3D with a negative 15. Can you guess what will happen this time? Yes, I think we'll find it did exactly what we expected. Now, let's change it up again slightly. So this time we've got the positive Z, so we're zooming in, but the camera is unlocked. How will that change things? Hmm. Let's take a look and see. Yes, well, as you can see, it, it really didn't change very much at all, did it? Compared to when we were scrolling left and right or up and down with X and an unlocked camera and a locked camera, it made quite the difference, didn't it? Yes, but not so much with the, uh, the Z direction. So let's move on and have a, a little play with all of those things at once. So here we've got translate X, negative 15, translate Y, negative 15, translate Z3D, positive 15. That's right, we've got all three of our previous things and we're doing them all at once. Can you guess what will happen this time? Let's see if you are right once again. Okay, fantastic. So I think hopefully you've, you've got the, the general gist of the, the uppy downy, lefty righty, locked camera, unlocked camera, those basic directions and the zoomy inny and the zoomy outy. And if you put a bigger number or a smaller number and yes, yes, you've, you've got all that. Okay, lovely, lovely. Right. So let's move on to these quaternions, shall we? Isn't that a wonderful word? So let's start off with a positive rotation here. Yes. And uh, the camera is, of course, locked. Oh, well, that's rather an interesting one, isn't it? 
Yes, yes. And what if he were to do the same thing but unlock the camera? Ah, I see. So it's it's more like we're sort of rotating inside a tube or some such. Hmm, okay. So let, let's move on once again. And now, now we're, we're doing the other direction. So as you can see here, these are W, X, Y, and Z. So there, there we've got the X. So we've used X. And now, now we're using Y. So we've moved on to the next one. Yes? So positive, rotation here, rotate 3D, a locked camera in the Y direction. Hmm, isn't that rather interesting, the way it folds in on itself? Now, I think you can probably imagine what's going to happen with the next one, can't you? So, when we unlock the camera and do exactly the same thing, then it'll look something like this. Yeah, that's probably exactly what you thought it would do, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look at that final direction, the Z direction there. Okay, Let, let's see what this does with a locked camera, shall we? Well, goodness me, that's incredibly spinny, isn't it? Isn't that very, very spinny? And uh, just to show you what happens if we go the other way, so we've got a, a negative number in there, and we've unlocked the camera also. Let's put all of those things together, shall we? Let's, let's have a, a translate X, a translate Y, a translate Z, and a rotate 3D, and we've got all sorts of different values in there. So we've got a positive X5, negative Y, minus 12, a positive Z, 17, and all these things going on with the rotate 3D. So we've got W, X, Y, and Z there, a mix of positive and negative, all sorts of numbers. Let's see what happens. So there you go, you've got a sort of diagonal motion while you're zooming in and all that sort of stuff. So yes, you, you've, you've probably got the hang of most of this now, haven't you? But you'll be wondering, well, how do I change these values over time? Because at the moment they're, they're static, aren't they? We've got static values. Let's, let's have a little scroll down here and see what I've got written. Oh, I don't understand any of this. What does this mean? Here, example of using time, which is T, the variable T in this option, and I'm using sin and if, that's correct, yes. You can use if statements within your translate y, translate x, translate z 3D, or rotate 3D options. Yes, yes, you can put some very complicated things in there. So what, what does all of this mean? What does any of this mean? I, no, 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 no ideas, anyone? Okay, so let's have a look at this Desmos graphing calculator. Obviously, you can use any graphing calculator. I'm using this one because it's online and it's incredibly easy. So let's let's take a look at this. We'll, we'll copy this one in here. We'll pop this into Desmos and we'll, we'll, there we go. We'll have a new one there and we'll pop that in there. Lovely, right. So, unfortunately, I've taken the one off the beginning. There we go, right, so that's 10. So here we can see that X X, here we go, X, this is T, this is essentially T. So at 10 seconds, this is at 10 seconds, then the value of this one, this, this lovely, lovely formula up here, will be this value here. So 10 seconds, your value will be minus 9.552. Okay, yeah, and as you can see, over time, it will do this. So 25 seconds, it will be down here, and all that sort of stuff. So there you go. You can see exactly what that wave does. We've also got this thing here, and so that's, that's what I've had before, so 15. So if it's 15, you've just got a solid static value. It doesn't matter. 30 seconds in, it will be 15. 20 seconds in, it will be 15. 10 seconds in, it will be 15. Unlike this, which varies. Okay, fantastic. So what's how do how do I put this? How do I make this into something that will work with PYTTI? Well, you need to convert it into Python, don't you? So were you to copy and paste that, it would look a little bit weird because uh, you're missing a lot of the symbol. So in Python, you will need to make sure that you specify the multiplications and that X becomes T. So that formula there that works in Desmos in Python becomes 10 times, so that's a, an implicit there, and 0.5 times, and we've got a times cos there, and times, so yes, so all the Xs become Ts. Yes, you always include the multiplication signs. Yes, power becomes double asterisk in Python, and uh, of course brackets are your friend. If you're very confused about what bit goes in where, just, just put loads of brackets in there and it's fine, it simplifies it. Okay, so let's put all of those things together. So you've learned all about the, the other directions, you've learned about how to vary things over time, 
and you've learned about how to use this graphing calculator. So here we are, here we have one rather complicated uh, looking Translate X, Translate Y, Translate Z 3D and Rotate 3D. There we have it. So hopefully you should now be able to animate PYTTY in any direction you like at any time and even modify the little variables over time. How fantastic. Good luck and I'll see you on the next one.